So you can see inside the vine house this year, I'm able to uh, put outdoor plants in under shelter out of the frost for the first time. And it's just fantastic. So I can conserve a lot of plants. Also, we've dug out the bed of dahlias. So to preserve them for next year. And what's wonderful is the bulbs, not the bulbs. Ah, I never, the corms. No, they're not corms. Oh, I'm being stupid, I can't think. The um, root structure of the dahlias, whatever that knobby name is, um, are swollen up and healthy. So uh, we've left in here, this is a lovely clematis that's growing up that I'm trying to spread across the front here a little bit uh, for next year. But these are all plants that can survive through the winter as is here. This is all kind of stuff that's been here for a long time. And then here is the fish tank. Whoa, here's the rain tank, I slid. But you can't see the fish. The fish are in here, but they're down deep because it's getting cold. Oh, there, you might be able to see something swimming there. I can't tell if you can tell. Anyway, that's the fish tank. But I'll show you what I'm doing with the um, dahlias to preserve them, over, to overwinter them so that I can then plant them next year. And hopefully next year, this bed will be even more magnificent a display of um, of uh, dahlias next year, hopefully. Anyway, okay, I'll go show you where, what I'm doing with the rootstock of all the dahlias that I planted this spring. Now I have, there's rainwater right here and I filled up a bucket of that. And in this stable, I've set up a trestle and I've divided up, you see they're divided, this is the tall one, then there's the medium, the smaller ones, and these are ones that I've already done. So this is the bucket of water, and what I do with that is, you can see there's leftover um, soil on these, and you want to have them over winter as dry as possible. So I put it in here, bounce it around a little. I also leave a bit of the stem so that I know which way is up for the plant so I don't plant it upside down next spring. And so I rinse this off in here and I also feel out if there's any of these uh, of these bulblets, rootstock. I'm being stupid, I can't think of the name. I know the name but I'm just being stupid as I'm filming. So any of the rotten ones I can feel and take off. Now, so that's most of that is gone. So then I put it on this wire mesh like that for it to dry off. Once it's drip dried off, I then, these ones are all dry. These were done previously. And I put them in this box and I will cover them with dry sand to preserve them. And that will keep them nice and cozy. These, these were around the tree in that bed. So I, I love those ones around the tree. So I've labeled them. So next is some sand on top of this. And see, these are small ones here that came up and we didn't know who they were attached to, if they were big or small, these ones. So that is basically what I'll be doing. So these are the shorter dahlias and these are the taller dahlias. So I'll be rinsing, drying, sorting, taking the rotten bits off drying them on that and then stacking them away for the winter in a cool, dry, frost-proof place. So that's what I'm doing. And you can see all my assistants are avidly helping and assisting and drinking the water and eating grass. Isn't that right? Yes, silly pup. Yes, <laughs> silly pup. Yes, yes.